German Autobahn is a legend, mainly because on some stretches there is no speed limit and you can drive as fast as you like. Some people actually come to Germany from abroad to do just this. So, is the German Autobahn still the place of unlimited freedom and top speeds? Germany has an impressive 12,500 kilometers of motorway. So how do Germans feel about their famous Autobahn? German Autobahn is boring. I just see concrete and asphalt. I like it, but I would prefer 130 like it for a speed limit. Oh, the German Autobahn is great. I like it to have uh, enough speed. Uh... The unique feature of the Autobahn is that on parts of it there's no speed limit. Aside from Afghanistan, Somalia and Nepal, Germany is the only country in the world that allows you to put your foot to the floor. Officially two-thirds of the Autobahn has no speed limit. Is it going to stay that way? No, that's a thing of the past. Increasingly, we have modern traffic flow systems in operation which regulate speeds. Actually, only about 15% of the Autobahn network really has no speed limit these days. Bad news for speed freaks. But the German Motoring Association believes the Autobahn still has a lot to offer. They've published an Autobahn travel guide listing the many attractions to be found just beyond the shoulder. What sites can you see along the Autobahn then? Using the German Autobahn, which is the safest and most extensive in the world, you can access all the castles, the churches and all the other places of interest in Germany. Wow, a vacation on the German Autobahn. I must try this for myself. The idyllic Autobahn, but how long before it's ruined by the tourist hordes? How does the future look for the Autobahn? The volume of traffic is constantly increasing, up 45% in just the last few years. So the network is being extended. 1,500 kilometers of new Autobahn are on the way, and 3,500 kilometers are being widened to three or four lanes. The Autobahn is unstoppable. Time perhaps for some driving instruction. If you want to drive fast, then you have to drive safely. So let's test four German drivers. Driver number one starts off confidently, but soon collides with a post. Good job we chose the simulator. Driver two is very cautious, but there's also a minimum speed for safe driving. The simulator takes her license away. This driver even stops at red lights. But uh, watch out, where did that deer come from? Finally, it's roadhog time. Zero to 180 in just a few seconds, but then he skids in the rain overtakes on the wrong side and smashes into the crash barrier. That was some pretty dismal driving. German roads are definitely better than German drivers. Summing up, the days of unlimited freedom to drive at ridiculous speeds on German autobahns are over. But driving fast is dangerous, so why not take your foot off the gas and enjoy all the wonderful sights and places of interest along the way. The search goes on. The search for the truth about Germany.